Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of uh, OpenCut WhatsApp live chat plugin and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how the customers would be able to quickly send in the queries uh, to the admin or to the agents that the admin has created for his uh, WhatsApp uh, there. So basically uh, the customer just needs to uh, tap here on the bottom right hand corner. You can see this uh, WhatsApp icon is there. So the customer just taps on that and it brings up the uh, WhatsApp chatbot. Uh, support wherein the customers would be able to select any of the created agents so as to start their uh, query or the uh, issues that they're facing so uh, I'll be uh, taking you to the front end and I'll be showing you the workflow at the customers end, how they can access the whatsapp and how they can chat with the uh, uh, created agents uh, that have uh, been added by the admin uh, from the backend panel configurations and lastly we'll be showing you how the admin would be able to set up the whatsapp uh, chatbot support uh, that provides a live chat uh, uh, to the customers and before that uh, let me give you a small gist about this uh, particular plugin itself so basically to solve the customer queries as soon as possible uh, we have basically created this uh, open cart uh, plugin uh, that's the whatsapp live chat plugin and uh, it allows the open card so admin to enable the live chat support using the whatsapp itself and uh, the uh, the customers would be able to uh, ask the queries and get solutions for the same over uh, their own whatsapp so basically the uh, plugin allows a live chat facility for the customer queries and this uh, and there is no need for the customers to now wait for the replies or the emails there so now uh, let me show you how the customer can access this particular whatsapp uh, feature at the storefront so basically this whatsapp icon that you can see on the bottom right hand corner is available at all the pages within the web store be it a product page be it a category page or uh, the home page itself so uh, i'll take you to the three different sections uh, where we will be able to see this particular whatsapp icon for the customers so we'll go to the uh, product page first and then category page so right now I'm at the uh, uh, category page as you can see under the desktops and here also you can see the uh, whatsapp icon on the bottom right hand corner. Uh, it depends upon the uh, location that the admin has set up from the admin backend panel whether on the top right hand, top left hand, bottom left hand, bottom right hand corner. So uh, I'll show you that setting uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the portion that we'll be covering for the admin's end. And now let's go to the product page and uh, here also you'll be able to see the uh, whatsapp icon here to make a live chat with the uh, web store agents so that was how the customers can find this uh, whatsapp icon now if i tap on that this brings up this particular chatbot uh, support uh, window and here the uh, customers would be able to find all of the uh, agents that the admin has created along with the time and the uh, details so you can see that uh, the peter door is for the customer support section and the timings are given and similarly we have the jack smith who is a business support uh, one and uh, according to these uh, defined uh, defined systems uh, the customers can access uh, the whatsapp uh, whatsapp uh, live messages and using that the customer can directly choose to uh, uh, choose to provide their query to the respective departments like the technical support is there customer support and the business support now uh, if the customer taps here on the uh, uh, agent uh, another window is opened up and uh, within that the uh, customer uh, just needs to open his whatsapp on his mobile device and uh, after that he needs to uh, scan this particular uh, uh, QR code that you're seeing so if you scan that particular qr code as i've done already now uh, you'll see that uh, we are logged in to our account here and uh, we can now directly uh, chat with the admin so on the left hand side that's my mobile number that i've used and uh, on the right hand side you can see uh, the uh, uh, agent's uh, chat window so if we type any message then the uh, uh, chat agent will be able to uh, send us the uh, uh, query uh, solutions there so now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you how the admin can basically set up this particular whatsapp uh, live uh, chat uh, for his uh, open court web show so for that now let me take you to the admin backend panel 
So I'm at the uh, backend panel for the OpenCart uh, web store. I've entered my username and password for my admin account and tapped the login button thereafter. And uh, now I'm at my uh, dashboard as you can see. So after you have successfully installed this particular plugin uh, for the initial configurations, you can navigate through extensions, extensions. Uh, let me open that in another window. And uh, then on the extensions uh, section, we need to uh, choose uh, the extension type as you can see so from here we can choose our modules and uh, we'll have to scroll down a bit so if i scroll down i'll find the open cart whatsapp chatbot it's enabled and i'll tap the edit button to bring up the initial configuration settings for the open cart whatsapp chatbot so uh, here you are on the uh, settings page and here we are having two different options uh, to configure the open cart whatsapp chatbot one is the general one the other one is the design and layout uh, for the uh, chat window that appears at the web store front end for the customers to choose so we can set up the position the button color and the rest of the details so we'll go through the uh, initial configuration settings in a minute but before that i'll just show you we have this whatsapp uh, menu option that comes up after you have successfully installed this particular plugin if you tap that up, uh, you have three different sub menu options. One is the configuration that would again take you back to this particular open cart uh, WhatsApp uh, chatbot settings. So we have uh, provided this so that you don't need to navigate to extensions, extensions, and then modules. So uh, to uh, save your time, then you have the support the team and the member type. So under the member type, the uh, store can create the member types and uh, for the different uh, processes within his uh, store then he can create the support team and assign the member team to each of the created support team and the support teams that the admin has created would be available at the uh, or what we see at the whatsapp chat at the store front end they'll be displayed uh, uh, there and accordingly the customer can select that particular uh, support uh, agent uh, to provide his queries to him so uh, that was about the whatsapp and the different configuration settings now let's go to the general settings so under that you can choose your store right now i have only sto one store that's why it's uh, there so this plugin can be used on multi uh, uh, stores as well if you have one running in english the other one in arabic then you can choose uh, this particular plugin for uh, the uh, different countries as well then so that will have to choose your store according to your language and uh, then you can choose enable or disable for this uh, whatsapp uh, uh, feature uh, you can set up the heading title that would be visible within the uh, chat window itself after setting up the uh, heading title for the chat box uh, you can enter the description as well according to your language that you want to set it up for and thereafter you can just tap here on the save button to save that particular settings uh, that we have created for the uh, chat board itself now let's come to the design and the layout for the whatsapp uh, feature at the web store front end so i'll just tap on the design and layout so from here you can choose uh, where you want to position the whatsapp icon uh within the web within your web store so different options out there we had set it as uh bottom right hand corner and uh, let me go back so uh let me come back to the design and layout all right so uh, you can choose uh, it as uh, left bottom left top uh, or left middle right top right bottom as per your own requirement so at the header of the uh, chat window uh, would be set up so you can set the button color as well for that you can set up the uh, pop-up background color the heading color the text color and the extensions that would be available so basically these extensions are the uh, date and time uh, the time and the name of the uh, what we say as the agent uh, wherever so basically it is uh, the time would be displayed uh, for each of the agents there and the member type also would be visible so that the customer can differentiate between the between a sales guy and a technical uh, guide there accordingly you can create different uh, member types as well and thereafter you just need to tap around this save button now let's go to the whatsapp and let's go to the support team and the member type sections and before i proceed let me tap here on the whatsapp icon so this is the header color settings that we were talking about and these are the extension types like the uh it's the technic technic uh, technical support we have the time and the type of uh, the customer support as you can see 
so these are the settings and uh, you can also set up the whatsapp chatbot support uh, text that you can see at the top along with the text color and its background color as well now uh, here we are on the whatsapp support team under the whatsapp and from here the admin can find all of the uh, created uh, support teams and uh, to add a new one the admin can tap here on the plus icon and uh, this uh, agent that the admin is going to create would also be visible at the storefront here uh, and he'll be listed here as well so i'll just show you that how we can do it so tap the add new button to add a new whatsapp support team member and that would bring up the uh, section uh, wherein we'll be able to set up uh, the same so we'll choose it as enable named uh let me take is a test uh test user uh now i can choose the member type so you can see we have a drop down to choose the member type option you can create this under the member type here so here we have uh five uh member types that we have created and those five are visible here so i can choose it as it support for this particular member type we can upload the image we can select the country and the contact number uh, for this particular agent that we are going to create. Then after you can set up the initial message. Uh, so basically uh, using this option you will be able to add the messages to the WhatsApp and you can set up the sort order for this particular agent that you have created. Now let me add a demo text here and thereafter we will just save this particular uh, support by tapping the save button so you can see the uh, support team has been uh, modified and here is our user that's the uh, test user now let's go to the front end and right now you won't be able to see it so let me refresh the page once and thereafter i'll show you that the uh, agent that we have created would be visible within the WhatsApp itself so let me scroll down and here you can see that we have the test user or the it support and uh, we can tap on that uh, like customer and that would uh, take us to the whatsapp web section we're in uh, and we're in the customer can start the uh, chat with the respective agent now uh, let's get to the whatsapp member type uh, so here we have the different member types according to the facilities and to add a new member type just tap here on the add icon and that would bring up the section to add the same and this is how the screen would appear after you've connected with the respective agent and here you can type in the uh, member type let's set it as test and just tap here in the save button and the member type would be added to your list of uh, member types so uh, that was much about the uh, open cut whatsapp live chat and i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same and uh, if you still have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uds.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.